Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV shows. We've got a brand new show coming to the CW and coming to the Arrowverse. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we just got the announcement that there is going to be another CW show in the works. As far as we know, this has been offered a pilot episode, but for now, it's just in the works and it is a thing that's going to be coming to the Arrowverse. Probably not going to come in this next year, it'll probably come in the 2022 year, as far as I know, unless it's going to be a mid-season show. So, we'll have to wait and see, but this show is Wonder Girl. So, I presume this is going to be the kind of new show that they want to take over from Supergirl, which is ending this year. And I think it makes sense, and I'm very excited for this. I am very much so looking forward to this, and I do really like the idea of seeing, you know, like Wonder Woman or like Superman, and then see the kind of a little bit lesser known characters who are kind of spin offs off of those original characters making their own name for themselves in TV shows, aka look at Supergirl, look how great Supergirl is, and I would say she's you know completely her own thing and in some cases and in a lot of cases people prefer Supergirl than Superman certainly for me I prefer Supergirl to Superman and that is because she's had her time to shine on the TV show and especially on the CW so I think the CW is the best place for these new kind of concepts and characters that we haven't really seen much in TV or film in regards to DC Comics. So I'm very excited for Wonder Girl because we've seen different iterations of her throughout, you know, history in the comic books, but also in TV shows we've seen various iterations, you know, mainly animated, but no one in live action. So this is the first time that we're going to see Wonder Girl in live action. So I'm very excited for it and let's go over the article. So this article is coming from Deadline, I don't know who originally reported it, but yeah, so let's go over this. So the CW is currently working on a series centered around Wonder Girl. So this is an exclusive from Deadline. Greg Berlanti and the CW are breaking more ground in superhero representation with their latest DC series project. The network is developing Wonder Girl, a drama series based on DC characters created by Jolie Jones. It hails from Queen of the South executive producer slash co-runner Aileen Rodriguez and Belanti Productions. Written by Rodriguez, Wonder Girl centers on Yara Floor. I think that's how you say her name. You guys may have to correct me on that. A Latina dreamer who was born of an Amazon warrior and a Brazilian river god learns that she is Wonder Girl. With her newfound power, she must fight the evil forces that seek to destroy the world. This would mark the first Latina superhero title character of a DC TV series. Rodriguez, who is the daughter of Cuban immigrants, executive producing Belanti Productions is Greg Belanti, Sarah Schechter, and David Madden. Belanti Productions produces in association with Warner Bros. Television. The series tells the backstory slash origin story of the DC Comics character of Yara Floor, who was recently revealed as the new Wonder Woman. In addition to future state Wonder Woman with adult Yara Floor as Wonder Woman, DC concurrently is publishing the Wonder Girl comic series written and drawn by Jones. At the CW, Wonder Girl will be looking to join Belanti Productions' existing DC universe, which includes Batwoman, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, the upcoming Superman and Lois, Supergirl, which will be wrapping up its run with the upcoming sixth season, and Black Lightning. Batwoman and Black Lightning respectively introduced the first gay lead character, male or female, and the first black lead of a live action DC superhero series. This is one of the famous two Warner Brothers controlled IPs Belanti Productions is developing for a series this season, along with the Powerpuff Girls. Rodriguez will be co-running the show, and she's been the showrunner on a different show, on USA's Queen of the South for the past few seasons and so she has a history of running TV shows. So yeah, that is the big announcement. There is a lot to go through in this article, and I think the first thing I want to bring up is the fact that Wonder Girl obviously is going to be part of the Arrowverse. This is on the CW, most definitely. She's going to be in some of these crossovers, so that's very exciting. We're going to get a new show in the midst of all of our other shows. Obviously, we've got Superman and Lois coming up. We had the recent order, the pilot order, actually, for Painkiller, the spin-off of Black Lightning, 
don't know how connected that's going to be with the Arrowverse, but this seems to be more along the lines of, oh, this is going to be like one of the new big Arrowverse shows. And there's going to be a lot of hype around this because this is a spin-off of Wonder Woman after all. And I think the main question to me when I first saw this, I was like, oh, cool, Wonder Girl. I really like her in the comics and in the animated shows is also to do with Wonder Woman. And the fact that she was born of an Amazonian warrior, this basically confirms that the Amazons do exist in the Arrowverse. We've got a few references to that in the past, you know, on Earth 2, there was the Diana name on the telephone box that Barry had on that Earth, so that was just one instance that I can remember, but I'm pretty sure there's a few more, and we've made videos on it in the past, and so this pretty much confirms the Amazons exist, this pretty much confirms that Themyscira exists, and also pretty much confirms that Wonder Woman exists, because they could do something similar to what they did with Supergirl, whereby the original character, like Superman, was the inspiration for Kara becoming Supergirl, and maybe, you know, Wonder Girl has seen what Wonder Woman has been doing, what Diana Prince has been doing, and she, you know, becomes Wonder Girl. So I think that could be a big thing, and I think it's very cool that they've confirmed all of this. Maybe we're going to see Themyscira at some point. I think that'll be very cool. Obviously, there may be some restrictions due to the new Wonder Woman film coming out very soon. And also, you know, they plan to do a lot with Wonder Woman in the future. So I guess it's kind of surprising that they got access to this character because she's heavily based around that kind of same legacy. So that is very exciting to see. So let's go through the article and kind of break down all of the most important points. So she is a Latina and she is a dreamer and she is born of Amazonian warrior and also of a Brazilian river god. I don't know what the Brazilian River God thing associates to in terms of the comics, but I think it sounds cool, and I'm guessing, you know, with the recent runs of Wonder Woman, with them introducing this character, there is a lot to explore in this character, and considering that they are still writing it currently in the comics, and she is on a run right now, like, there is a lot that they can take from, and it can pretty much go parallel to the show being founded and being you know put into the production because right now it's just in production they don't have any plans to actually shoot anything as of right now it is just being produced and that is the announcement so yeah she's going to find her powers right at the start of the series therefore she wasn't a superhero before but she found her new powers and they are newfound powers and she must fight the evil forces that seek to destroy the world is what is said and also a big thing like I mentioned earlier, is that this would mark the first Latina superhero title character of a DC TV series. It's a very important thing for the CW and the Arrowverse because they do take pride in them advancing forward compared to other shows out there. I think that's very cool. Also to note, this is being produced and, you know, made by Belanti Productions with Greg Belanti, so it's part of the Arrowverse naturally. And also Sarah Schechter is executive producing the show. Sarah Schechter worked on Supergirl, obviously she's going to stop working on Supergirl from the end of this year. Also, she's worked on some of the other shows, so that's very important to know. It's the Arrowverse creators behind the show, just with a different lead showrunner, but there will be familiar storylines and familiar things that will link back into the Arrowverse due to those people running the show. And so the story tells the backstory slash origin of the DC Comics character of Yara Floor. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right because she is a pretty new character and I haven't heard her being named that many times. And so she was recently revealed as Wonder Woman in a comic book run. And so I think it's interesting to note that they say the series will tell the backstory slash origin story of her. So will we get flashbacks? Will it be like Arrow? And what they did at one point, well, for many seasons, they continued this flashback kind of storyline, unveiling what Oliver did in those five years that he was supposedly on the islands. But it turns out he wasn't on the island for five years. He was doing many other things that led to him being the Green Arrow. So, yeah, that could be a possibility. And so, origin story may take back in terms of flashbacks, but it also may be in present day as well. So Wonder Girl will be looking to join the existing Arrowverse, presumably at one point in the near future, whenever this show comes out, and we don't know when this show is specifically going to come out, but I'm presuming it's not going to be in like the next year or something, probably be in like two years time, because they are just putting this into production right now. But you'll see Yara, and you'll see everything that we're talking about here, 
in the show and it's going to be a part of the Arrowverse. So at one point she's going to cross over because this is very good news for the Arrowverse. It's not going to die anytime in the near future. Got over at least five years and I think adding on these two new series just literally this week adds on another couple of years past that. So I think the Arrowverse is going steady and I'm very excited for this project. Let me know in the comments down below, are you excited? Do you know much about Wonder Girl and this new version of her? And are you excited to see her join the Arrowverse? Because I certainly am. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. And remember guys, there's going to be a live stream sometime later this week. As far as I know, it's probably going to be Wednesday or Thursday. Most likely it's going to be Thursday. So be on the lookout for that. So remember to turn on notifications. Do not miss that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.